Being different isn't always easy. Even when you've got that one classmate that actually gets you. But everyone else might not feel that way. A sense of humor and a good support system are key. Meet Zoe, our zombie girl. She loves school, her friends, and playing her little zombie pranks. Grab a piece of chalk and something sharp like a utility knife or a nail file. Channel your inner sculptor and try to carve a bone from the chalk. Dust yourself off and get ready to have a ball. Here's our first victim, our school pal, Natalie. Is that a bone? Where did it come from? I could have broken a tooth. This is exactly why I prefer soft foods, like your banana. Kira is new here, so she's not yet used to having a girl like Zoe around. Instead of focusing on school, letting go a bit, and at least trying to make new friends, Kira spends way too much time and energy doing things even the teachers don't understand. Maybe instead of constantly looking at others, she should take a good hard look at herself. Recess! Time to get some rest. Or prime time for another prank. One, two, hey girls! Zombie Zoe has a unique perception of the world. Her sense of humor is also a little different from everyone else's. So what if all her jokes have to do with being a zombie? What are friends for, if not to accept us as we are? Mike just wants to satisfy his gum craving. What could possibly go wrong? Watch out, Mike. It's always a good idea to pay close attention to anything that might be paying it to you. Jess and Natalie are getting ready to head home. High school lockers are always stuffed, but with zombies? That's a bit of an overkill. Well, maybe Zoe just wanted to be alone. Mike wanted to see if there was anything he could do to surprise a zombie classmate. Maybe a trick? Zoe, look! Now you see it? Now you don't. Gone. And it's back. Looks like Zoe enjoyed that. But it also looks like she's plotting something. Wait, maybe she's just hungry. No, wait, it's just a trick. Watch. Tut, dot. The finger's still here, and so's my hand. Bad trick, bad Mike. Here, here, just can't get used to Zoe being around. The way that zombie girl carries herself is driving her bananas. Doesn't look like she's gonna be making friends or exchanging gifts with Zoe anytime soon. Well, that's her loss. Zoe's gifts are completely harmless. This prank isn't for the faint of heart. Bless you. Anyone friends with a zombie knows that green mucusy slime comes with the territory. Grab a sheet of paper, trace the stapler, Draw some teeth along the edges. Now cut them out and glue them to the stapler. Paint your new chomper red 
And time to surprise our next victim. Where did my stapler go? Mike, can I borrow yours? Sure, Jessica. Anything for you. Jeez, whose jaw is that? It's a stapler, Jess. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. He just couldn't help smiling at such a pretty girl. This prank requires some athlete's tape, nails, and a red marker. Clip those nails in half, wrap your finger tight, add glue to both sides, and let it dry out for a bit. Make some blood stains and stick in the nail halves. Careful, don't actually hurt yourself. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Zoe's definitely falling for this. Ow, my finger! Okay, so Zoe doesn't scare that easily. Plus, she's always got something for you. So don't let your guard down. This here is a surefire way to freak out your friends. Drop in some red paint into your water bowl and dip in the cauliflower. What have we got? Delicious brains. Hey guys, wanna share my lunch? I made it myself. Family recipe. I don't know about anyone else, but your best friend will love this. Hey Zoe, I've got something for you. Check out my magical finger. Whoa, that's awesome. How are you doing that? Magic. I want to try. Wait, don't actually eat yourself. It's just a trick. Look. Bend your finger, use your thumb, and hide it behind the index finger. Did you get that? That was a good one. Ugh, this backpack is killing me. I have to throw it in my locker. Aw, Zoe, you don't like that, did ya? All right, we'll think of something else. Oh, we'll be seeing who pranks whom first. All the healthy eaters out there know that the more veggies you eat, the better your figure will be. But even that rule has its limits. You are what you eat, after all. If you want to treat yourself to a spoonful of creamy Nutella, that will do the trick. Sweets are the bane of all diets, of course, but hey, some things are only off limits until you really, really want them, right? And how good is that stuff spread on a slice of toast? Ugh, nothing better in the world. And as an added bonus, you get to feel like a kid again every time you prepare this culinary delight. So simple, a slice of bread and some spread is the sweetest childhood memory. But at the same time, there are perks to being a grown-up. Now you get to say how much and how often you can eat Nutella. Isn't life sweet? And now that we've started, there's no point in stopping now. As they say, best to finish what you've started. And isn't it wonderful when you can lean back and tell yourself, well done, Kira, you did it. If breakfast seems like it was forever ago and lunchtime isn't anytime soon, that doesn't mean you have to deny yourself a tasty snack or two. So if you got the time and nothing better to do, it's the perfect time to get a move on and throw something together. Could you tone it down a bit, Jess? 
Sorry, Kira. Studying is one thing, but lunch is something else altogether. Jess, I can hear you with headphones on. Oh, sorry. Turn up the volume or just deal with it while I finish. Seriously? 100%. Eating is an ancient and sacred ritual. If you don't do it right, you can anger the gods of gluttony and have a curse put on you. True story. You have got to be kidding me. All right, all right, it was a joke. I promise I'll never do that again. At least not today. <sighs> Natalie has a bit of a sweet tooth, so she's sworn to stop herself from touching the stuff today. And a promise is a promise. It all looks so delicious. Mm. I'm practically drooling. No desserts for a whole day, this is hard. Okay, so yes, I swore off the sweets, but I can satisfy my cravings by just looking at them without eating anything, all while keeping my promise. The temptation is strong, but nothing will break my iron will. I probably should have invested in a bib first. Hindsight, it's 2020. Meanwhile, the long-awaited lunchtime has finally arrived for Jess. And hey, even if that piece of chicken is a smidge bigger than she was expecting, no big deal. The main thing here is not to see it as an obstacle, but a challenge. You can do it, Jess. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, my tummy is happy now. Yes, my jeans are a tad snug at the moment, but I'll worry about that later. And to make sure there isn't an inch of free space left in my stomach, I'll chug down some mm -hmm. cold Sprite. Winning. Oh, man. <sighs> What am I gonna do with this unexpected complimentary dessert? I can't just say no to a beautiful slice of chocolate cake. And it's free! Never. It's time to make a decision. Once and for all. You got this, Jess. Today, you set a record. Oh yeah, it's like I didn't even eat that big hunk of meat or down that Sprite. I think I'm getting a second win here. Oh, just a tiny bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Prepping for exams has a tendency to really take it out of you. But worry not, there's a fail-safe means of topping up your tank. Pizza. Fresh, hot, made-to-order goodness delivered right to your door. Whatever to eat, ladies. And the whole world melts away like cheese. Of course, sometimes it's best to let it cool just a bit so no slice gets left behind. Sorry, Jessica, I think we ought to throw it out. Don't you dare, Natalie! Could you really throw pizza away? It's wonderful no matter what happens. Ew. Are you sure, Jess? All right, be my guest. Somehow I seem to have lost my appetite, but you know, it might not be a bad idea for you to talk to a psychiatrist. The sooner the better. Another very long day has come and gone. Off to bed then, I guess. Time to count some sheep. One, two, three. Wait a second. What's that noise coming from the kitchen? Keep her cool, Jessica. Nobody's there. It's just your imagination running wild again. But what if it's not? What if a crazy killer has snuck into my home and wants me to think it's all in my head? I know. He's just waiting for me to drift off, then he'll sneak into my room and smother me or shoot me. He'll cut me to shreds or worse. Oh god, it's the blonde hunter. The sweets killer. Natalie? Hey, Jess. What are you doing up so late? Uh, Ew. Um, why don't you try and sleep with a crazy person like you in the kitchen? <laughs> There you are. Dig in, Kira. These delicious burgers and fries are all ours. Now we can sit around and gossip like normal people. Oh, just a second. Are you ready? I'm here. Just give me a second. Don't be shy, make yourself at home. Mmm. Make myself at home? Well, if you say so, I believe I will. Mmm. Where should I start? Well, mm. how about with everything? I've heard if you first bite the burger on the left, and then the one on the right, it'll bring you good luck. And I think it's time to test that. 
And if it doesn't work, no skin off my back. You know, I should really come over to Natalie's more often. Gotta love having such hospitable friends. Whew, just a bit more. So how are you? Kira, I see you're doing well, yeah? Help yourself, Natalie. Don't be shy. Make yourself at home. Yeah, I actually am at home. But you, little Miss Piggy, I don't think I'll be seeing you around here again. Well then, Mr. Cake, it's time for revenge. And revenge is a dish best served with chocolate. Hey, Natalie, it's so good to see you. Ooh, cake. Forgive me for the burgers, Natalie. And for the french fries, too. Could I have some, please? Just a teeny tiny bit? A teeny tiny piece, Kira. All right, I'm in a forgiving mood. Really? Thanks, Natalie. And here I didn't think you were the vengeful type. I'm not vengeful at all. I'm just not quick to forget, either. And don't even try to soften me. My heart isn't made of chocolate. There's no melting it. So this is for you. Oh, yes. And this is for me. And be a dear, Kira. If you could go ahead and be just as jealous as possible as I enjoy this slice of heaven, I'd say I got my revenge and oh, how sweet it is. I could just eat it up. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Natalie, but tomorrow when you step on the scale, we'll see who gets the last laugh after all. Natalie may have been a bit harsh there, but I've definitely learned my lesson. You should always share tasty treats with your friends. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Maybe you'd like some too? Yeah. Aw, I'd love some, Kira. Now, how are you supposed to live in this world? Hmm. You put yourself out there and someone comes up and eats half your ice cream. Thanks for the taste, Kira. Oh, and if there's anything else you want to share, I'm your girl. Next time, Jessica. Next time. Looks like Ashley and Kira are having a battle of tricks. Ashley is up first. <laughs> Let's see what Kira's got planned. Who won that one? You guys be the judge. Heads or tails? They say coin tricks take years to perfect. Let's see if that's actually true. Here's Natalie with a more advanced version of the heads or tails trick. Always watch tricks closely, but keep in mind that someone might just be pranking you <laughs> rather than showing you a trick. Workouts, stretching, how many more ways of torturing me are they going to invent? No, I'm not giving up that easily. Just look at how much progress I've already made. All those exhausting workouts, using sheer discipline and willpower, I am so proud of myself. I've become a champion stretcher. Yes, I'm the all-powerful Kira. I can even clap using my feet. I've developed complete control over my body. Okay, so maybe I was messing with you, but that still took skill, right? Nice. Looks like the new magical jean collection just dropped. Um, Natalie? Thanks for that demonstration, but where's the magic? <laughs> Ashley? What? Are those jeans so tight they literally twisted you backwards? You know, pranks aren't just some lighthearted pastime. You've got to use your head and turn up your imagination. Granted, your imagination can take you to a place where backwards is actually forwards, but that's completely on you. Well, well, well. Looks like we've got a full-on makeout sesh going on. Hang on, where'd the second person go? Oh, Kira, making sure her ex-boyfriend stayed jealous one aptly filmed IG story at a time. 
keep your back straight and follow along. Jess, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Now, switch. Ow, my legs. Yeah, yeah, I'm following. And now, let's try those splits. Seriously, Jess? Yeah, this is definitely not for me. You know what, Hotshot? I'll show you what I can do. Just, uh, give me a sec. How's the stretching going? Wow, Kira, that's some amazing progress. But how? You were right. Stretching feels amazing. You know, it's like I got my second wind and now I can do anything. Especially prank you. Wow. Kira has really reached new heights when it comes to working out. She's gonna get a ton of likes and amazing results comments after this photo sesh. Great choice of props, too. You know, sometimes we just need a little extra help reaching our fitness goals. What? At least she didn't get implants. Ready to show everyone our new trick, Ash? Always. This one's called the Lilac Levitation. It starts with Natalie laying down and Ashley making a huge deal of covering her with a magical blanket. And abracadabra, bam, boom, go. Looks like we're about to see something we've never seen before. Wow, that's some real gravity-defining magic. Now we can all fly like birds. No more spending money I don't have on shoes, walking around on the ground like mere mortals. This is the new age, and I could sure get used to it. Aw, man. <laughs> Looks like Kira finally decided to take working out seriously. And she's right. To get results, you gotta focus and ignore everything that doesn't lead to your goal. That's just how you get results. Through sheer determination, perseverance, and patience. Okay, so maybe it's not muscles and willpower you'll need for this one. But a stack of books, a board, and a willing helper. Willing to help you get more likes on your workout posts. Up, up, and away! Whoa! I didn't know I was friends with Super Ashley. More like Aww. Super Magician Ashley. Who knew that gluing a couple shoes together could get you mistaken for a superhero? 